Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to animate an image like this using Canva. What we're going to do is give it a 3D effect where the background and the foreground are moving so we can create animated videos. So firstly you want to use an image. I've got this image from Midjourney. I'm just going to copy and paste this image into a blank video file in Canva. So I'll just paste that in there. As it is a mid-journey AI generated image, it has come out square. So I'm going to make sure the image is selected, click edit photo, then I'm going to use the magic expand feature to expand the image so it fills the entire screen. You do need the Canva Pro license for this as this is a paid feature. I'm going to click on whole page and then magic expand. Now let's see what it comes up with. Sometimes it doesn't work out too well. Sometimes it gives you amazing images. What I'm hoping for is we get a lot of mountains in the background, some images in the foreground. Okay, that looks good. So we've got the full rocks, we've got trees. And we've got this gentleman staring out into the landscape and this one. Okay, what I want is a clearly distinguishable foreground from the background. So I don't want so much foliage here. You can generate new results. I'm just going to generate new results and find an image I like. Every time you do this, it generates a set of four new images. So I'm just going to find one I like. This is quite a complicated image, which is why it can take a while to generate. So here's an image that was generated. I like this image. You can see there's some text appearing at the bottom here. Some of this foliage didn't appear quite right, but that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this image, click edit photo and use the magic eraser tool just to remove this text here. Just highlight it, drag it over it and it should be removed. There you go. What I want to do now is separate this foreground from the background. Also what's good practice is if you copy and paste this image onto another page so that you have two copies and now I can do all my edits in one copy. I'd always have the master copy here in case I don't like any of the changes and I can't reverse it. So that's just a quick tip for you. So now the image is selected, I'm going to edit photo. Now to separate this foreground, I'm going to try the magic grab feature. Now sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so we'll just use that and see what it selects. It's effectively a magic selection tool. If you use Photoshop or any other photo editing tool, you'll have something like this, a magic selection. Okay, looks like it's just grabbed the person here you can see if I move that around it has separated him from the background that's not what I want I'm just going to undo that there so we've got the whole image again okay what I'm going to do to separate the foreground and the background is to use the background remover now now you can see that it's already selected that person there but what you can do is edit it and then fill in the gaps so you can click show original image. I'm just going to do a rough outline of this to separate the foreground and the background. So I'm going to grab this. You can go over the edges here, as you can see, that's what I've done, but you can always click erase and then just undo the gaps there. So that's done. I'm just going to click away and then click back and hopefully this part of it will be saved. So now we have the foreground on its own. This is completely separate on its own layer. You're probably wondering how do we get the background? Well, if we were to remove the back, the foreground, this is what we'd see. We'd have a gap here. What we want is the background, but with a full image, because once we move the foreground, there's nothing behind it, it's just a white gap. So what we need to do now is copy and paste the master image. So this is the master image with the foreground and the background. Paste that onto a new page. So now I'm going to use the magic eraser tool to remove the foreground. 
Again, make sure the image is selected, then click on Magic Eraser. Now I'm going to increase the brush size and just paint over all of this. I'm going to do the tree separately because in my experience, that's not going to look too good. So you might have to go over it a couple of times to make sure it's fully gone. As you can see, it's made it slightly blurred. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magic edit tool just to tidy up this background. So what I want to do is actually highlight this. I want a bit of mountain tops here, a bit more detail. So I'm going to write describe your edit, add sharp mountain tops, generate. I want a mountain line here. So hopefully it will come up with some mountain tops. So there you go, see it's added some mountainous tops here. They have given us different options here. So you can select the one that looks good for you. I like these mountain tops just peeking through the clouds. Um, now you can edit this uh, to your heart's content and just get it perfect. But for the purposes of this video and for this background, I'm going to keep it the same. Now you can also edit the rest of the image. So what I might do here is just try different things. For example, add a water stream to the end of the mountain or add more details here. You can do that, but that's entirely optional. This image is good enough for now. So what we need to do now is take the foreground and copy and paste it back onto this image. So now we have a separate background and a separate foreground. That basically is the hard work done. Now we can manipulate these two separately. So this is where the fun begins. We can start animating the different layers. So now I'm going to animate the background to move down and the foreground to move up. So I'm going to select the background, then click on animate in the top menu. Then I'm going to click create an animation. Here you can drag the animation. I want this perfectly straight. So you have to make sure to hold shift whilst dragging to create straight lines. So I'm going to hold shift, click and drag down. I'm going to keep dragging it down and then stop there. As you can see, the background's moving. I want it steady. So if you click on steady, you can see it's dragging down slowly. I want that even slower. In fact, hold on that speed that increases it. I want it even slower. So you can see it's moving down slow. That looks good to me. Now I want to animate the foreground. So I'm going to click that. Now I'm going to animate that. Click create an animation. While holding shift, I'm clicking and dragging the image upwards. Click and drag that up slowly. And now slow that down. Make it steady. That's looking good to me and click done. If we push that to the start and press play, we'll be able to see our moving 3D animation that we just created. Now, if you want to add even more elements to it, you can do. What you can do is go into element, find a cloud, throw that in there. That cloud isn't the best looking, but you could also animate that. I'm going to drag this to the start, have the cloud appear there, animate, create an animation and just have that dragging across the sky like that. Make that steady, make it slower, click done. Now if we play that, We'll be able to see that coming across the image moving down and that's quite a cool effect so there you go you can see the cloud is in front of this layer what you could do um, right click layer layer and send backwards so it's behind the front layer so now when i press play the cloud should be there 
that is a pretty cool effect even if I do say so myself. There you go, it goes behind the trees. Okay guys, while I was editing this video, I had a little brainwave. I was thinking what would happen if you kept clicking magic grab? Would it grab the entire foreground? And it did, it worked. And so this technique could actually save you a bit of time in the process. So let me show you that quickly. If you grab the master image, copy and paste that onto a new page. So this is the master image. Now, if you go on to edit photo, then magic grab, it will grab the person here as you would expect. What you wanna do, delete him. Now, you wanna share and download this image. So what I'm going to do is just download the current page as not an MP4, but as a PNG. So let me save that image as a PNG. Now I'm going to paste that image onto a new page. So I'm going to go here, paste that image onto a new page, select it, edit photo, then try the magic grab again. And let's see what happens. You can see it's thinking about it, hopefully selecting the foreground with the trees. Now, if I move it, there you go. It's selected the entire image perfectly with the trees and it's also filled in the background. So it's done two jobs, whereas I showed you one long job, it's done two jobs in one. So that could potentially save you a lot of time. I just realized this little trick while I was editing the video and I tried clicking magic grab multiple times. It didn't work. It only worked when you export the image. So now you have a perfect magic selection. Now you can animate this and animate the background. Again, you can grab the person, which is what I did and have him separately. And then I grouped the foreground with the person and then I move them together. So there you go, there's another little trick for you to save some time. Now, if you're interested in animations and AI, I've put together a mid-journey cheat sheet. If you click the link in the description, you'll be able to grab the mid-journey cheat sheet. This is an AI art generator, and that's what was used to create this image. So head below, click on the description. Once you sign up to my newsletter, I'll also send you my ChatGPT cheat sheet and other freebies along the way.